All right, Memorial Day weekend means some good grilling. Chef Jeff from Smith's Food and Drug, the sponsors of this segment, shows us how to make grilled pork chops. Hello everybody, I'm Chef Jeff from Smith's. Memorial Day is right around the corner, so that means not only remembering our, our lost loved ones, but also grilling season, and that's what I'm gonna focus on today. Uh, it's time to break out that grill, and if we're honest, I've been grilling all throughout the winter time, but this officially kicks it off, and I'm gonna give you a great recipe that is grilled pork chops with a grilled pineapple salsa. Now, I love pineapple salsa, but sometimes you get a pineapple that maybe isn't quite ripe. Grilling the pineapple is a great way to get to to kind of liven it up a little bit and get some of those juices flowing. And so what I do is I take the rind off, take the top and bottom, and then I slice it into discs, like so. And then what I wanna do is I'll oil my grill here, just pretend we're outside, and then I'm gonna put my pineapple on that and just let it start to get the nice char on it. And that's what I'm looking for. And that's just gonna bring out the juices, that's gonna bring out all of the flavors that we want. And then I'm gonna cut that pineapple so that I can turn it into salsa. We'll go ahead and just do that for now because I need room for my pork chops. Now I love grilling pork chops. These are bone in, you could do boneless or bone in. Um, these are a little bit thick, which I love, but the key to a great grilled anything is to have a good seasoning rub and that's what I have here. Um, I have smoked paprika, kosher salt, brown sugar, regular sugar, garlic powder, black pepper, Let's see if I can remember all these. I have cumin, uh, mustard, and ginger. So all those wonderful things I'm gonna put in this bowl to uh, let them start to mix together. And then I'll season my pork and get those on the grill as well. Um, the pork only takes maybe, I'd say about four minutes per side, so it doesn't take long. But what I would suggest is if you're gonna uh, season them like this, season them ahead of time. Uh, probably like a good half hour before you're gonna actually grill and just let those seasonings just get into that meat and make a real big difference. It's called a dry brine actually when you do it that way. Uh, let your meat get nice and seasoned. So pork chops ready to go. Pretend that I've, I've uh, had them sitting there for a while and then onto the grill they go. And then what I'm gonna do now is see if I can get my char marks on my pineapple and show you how to finish that salsa. All right, my pork chops are almost done. My pineapple's grilled up. I'm gonna take it off of here and then I'm gonna chop it up and then finish our salsa. Take me just a second. Okay, so I've got my pineapple chopped up and ready to go. Now, salsa is super easy as long as all your ingredients are ready. That's red bell pepper, that's jalapeno, lime juice and zest, a little salt and pepper, a little red onion, a little bit of garlic, a little bit of cilantro, and lastly, just to sweeten it up just a little bit more, we're gonna add a little bit of honey, like so, and then we're gonna stir it, and then that's salsa, super easy to make, super delicious, light, fresh, Perfect for grilling season. I love that sort of stuff. All right, let's finish this up. I'm gonna get our pork chop on the plate. We're gonna top it with some of our salsa. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. Uh, enjoy the season. You'll find these ingredients at your local Smith's. Uh, thanks for shopping, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, bye-bye. Well, thanks to Smith's Food and Drug for sponsoring this segment. And if you'd like more information and recipes, go to smithsfoodanddrug.com.